and it's tart, but actually really good. Hey guys, it's Christina. Today we're talking about a rhubarb. And the reason we're talking about rhubarb is because the place that we live now, it's been just about um, over two years. We're going into our third summer and we have two rhubarb plants that were here when we moved in. And the first year that I was really excited that there was already vegetables growing in the backyard, there was food that you could eat, something edible that was growing in the backyard already because I had full intentions to maximize the space that we have here, which was three garden beds, lots of space to plant our own food. So I was super excited that there was already something there growing. But I didn't know anything about rhubarb. I've never, I had never seen a rhubarb plant before. I didn't know how to harvest them. I didn't know anything about them. I harvested a little bit, I remember. The thing about these plants is they're so abundant and you don't have to do anything. They're so low maintenance. I pretty much haven't touched them except for harvesting. Um, and they just keep coming back just strong and I, I don't really have to do anything. So they're really nice in that regard. The first year, yeah, I think I just harvested and I think I gave some to family. I didn't really know what to do with it in terms of like pies or jams or anything like that. Last year, I was kind of, it was interesting. I had some conflictual relationship issues with my landlord and I seemed to project that frustration out on the rhubarb plants because they <laughs> were planted by her. So I completely neglected them last year. I didn't want to harvest them. I let them grow to seed. Like I didn't do anything with it. And I just was kind of like, every time I'd see them, I was kind of just like, oh, like grumpy towards these poor rhubarb that didn't do anything except for have a relationship to this person that I was having frustrations with. Silly and crazy, yes, but that's what's happened. So this year, my approach is um, an embracing of the rhubarb. I'm really excited because this year I'm going to maximize their potential and fulfill their purpose, basically, while why they're here. I've done a little bit studying about rhubarb, and the first thing I didn't know that I learned was that you can harvest them twice in the summer. Um, so we're about end of April now, and uh, they're ready. They're going to make an amazing first round of harvesting. So actually, what we're going to do in this vlog is I'm going to uh, freeze some, preserve some for um, use in the fall and the winter. But then I'm also going to make a jam with some of them, so, um, so I'm really excited to show you guys uh, this process and this journey and me embracing the rhubarb, so enjoy. finished harvesting and cutting up the rhubarb. Ah, quite the bounty. So I'm going to clean them now and I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to separate them into what we're freezing for later and what we're going to cook with now and I have a lot. Now we're cutting. Mm, I can smell the tart already. I'm gonna try one just because they say you have to try one to get the full experience of the flavor. Woo! And it's tart, but actually really good. It's got like, um, it's like fresh. So I was like, so tart. <laughs> 
but there's something delicious about it. Like, mmm, it's fresh. There's a freshness to it that is undeniable. The cutting of the rhubarb went well and I've saved about half of it. The other half I'm using to make jam. 22 cups of rhubarb. You need half a cup of water, two tablespoons of orange zest, one third cup of orange juice, and a whopping two cups of sugar because the stuff is tart. So medium heat. And it says basically to just add everything together, so I'm going to do my water, and I'm going to do my orange juice, and I'm going to do my zest, and I'm going to do my sugar. And it says to bring to a boil, and then cook for 45 minutes. I'm not sure how it's going to boil, but we'll just pick it up and see what happens. Like it's boiling. You can see the water really cooked out of it. So I'm just gonna let this go now for I guess 45 minutes. The jam is ready. Ready to jam. Okay, just gonna open my jam. <sighs> These are my man hands. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little butter on the toast because that's how I eat my toast with butter and jam. It's my jam. I think it's kind of runny still. Like what? Does that seem, it seems like runny, doesn't it? No, well, okay. this is supposed to thicken up. Well, I thought it would have thickened up by now, so. Quick to note. Taste test. Cool. With the butter. I like that it still has all the fibers mm. of it. Mm hmm. Love the color. I know. Mmm. So that's it. I did my jam. Did my jam. I embraced the rhubarb today, so that was pretty fun. Um, thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time <laughs> <laughs>